The following video was made for entertainment purposes. This video is not meant to represent the real individuals involved in this video. All voices have been AI generated. Please enjoy. Whoa, hey, what are we playing, guys? Where am I? Welcome to the back rooms, AKA the complex found footage. The back rooms, the back rooms to what exactly? The back rooms to reality as you know it. This place can only be accessed by the unfortunate who clip through reality itself and are punished by never ending rooms with nothing but more rooms to them. How on God's green planet does that even work? Beats me. I'd thought this would be an interesting second game to play on the channel, especially since it is a horror game. Whoa, wait, this is a horror game? You guys know I don't do well with horror games. That's specifically why you're the one to experience it, Joe. Plus, this one isn't that horrible. Not a whole lot happens here, I think. Very reassuring. Mm -hmm, definitely. It's all fun and games until some monster appears from the shadows and starts to eat me whole, legs first. Uh, although there is something about this environment that's kind of nice. Kind of reminds me back in the days when I used to work in the back office buildings and rooms. Of course, it wasn't the most cut and dry of them all, so we had walls and floors kind of similar to this, you know? Tell me you're old without telling me you're old. What? He's just making fun of you for being an old man, Joe. Just keep pressing on through these rooms. Maybe you'll find something interesting. I'm not liking the glow in that spot. Why does it look so unsafe in there? Like there's an evil entity just waiting for me. I'm sure you'll be fine, Joe. It's probably just the coloration of the light being different from the others, that's all. I don't know why, but I'm on edge hearing my own footsteps. It's almost as if they're not mine. If a case happens and there is a time where it isn't your footsteps, we'll warn you. Gosh, how do I get out of here? I feel I've been in here for ages already and it's been only a few minutes. Guys, did you hear my question or not? See, uh, here's the thing, Joe. We're not exactly sure if there is a escape out of the back rooms at all, to be frank with you. What? How's that possible? Are you telling me someone constructed this building and managed to seal off or hide the exit door, trapping me in it? Mr. Biden, no one constructed this building at all. In fact, calling it a building is very much underselling the premise. Okay, wait. Can you remind me what this place is again? Did you already forget what I told you in the beginning? The back rooms is a place only accessible to the unfortunate who clipped out of reality itself. It's a zone that can stretch up to 600 million miles, containing nothing but more walls and flooring to walk through and occasionally more environments to pass through as well. Not to mention the entities that may or may not room these parts. I'm sorry, did you mention something about monsters? Was I signed up for a death trap or something? For now, you're fine, Joe. No, wait, hold on here, you two. I know you said this is a horror game. But first, I've been told I'm just walking through a building, but now I'm being told I somehow need to fend myself against whatever is nearing me. How am I supposed to run away from something if I'm basically stuck here forever? Actually, I said entities, but sure thing, Joe. We'll try and inform you when the time comes, Joe, we promise. Okay, wait, I just realized, why am I in this empty bowling alley when earlier I was in some sort of empty office building? The back rooms is comprised of many different environments, as I said before, Joe. Some can range from what you saw earlier, while others can be as weird and out of place as a parking lot. Are you sure this isn't like some fever dream I'm having or something? No, although I get why you would assume so. Oh, a library. I love libraries. I remember taking my son there a lot of the time back when he was a little dumpling. Ah, oh, man, the books he would read as a kid. He was so pure back then. Yeah, and now he is everything but innocent, and you know exactly what I mean, Mr. Biden. Okay, hey, hold on. Why is this particular hallway so incredibly dark? I'm not a fan of this. Oh, good Lord, please help me. Jill, where are you? Settle down, Biden. I can see a tiny light at the end of the tunnel. One tiny light ain't gonna be reassuring enough if something was lurking in these dark parts. Oh, thank heavens, this might be exactly what I was hoping for. A library. 
This doesn't feel like a library. What is this place? This seems like one of the many rooms, home to the back rooms. It's a place that looks and resembles a library, but is completely devoid of people and light sources in specific corners. Donald, do you know so much about this, or are you just speaking out of your rear? I will admit, it's both. My knowledge about the back rooms in general is kind of lacking, but I know enough to explain a couple of things. Can you explain to me how do I get out of this godforsaken place? Ah, yes, I can. You see, that's my favorite question to answer because I usually let them assume things on their own and purposefully build up to the answer to such a question, only to respond to them with a big fat no. I don't know if I should feel humored or if I should feel bad for anyone who's asked that question. Feel bad for me. I know I forget things a lot, but this doesn't look like something I've seen before. Yes, that is true. You very likely haven't seen many of these places or abstract constructions before because they are fragmented in such a skewed way. It's almost like it is meant to depict the mind of a dementia brain. Was, was that even grammatically correct? If you pretend like it is, then it is. Why is it now this place is starting to make me feel claustrophobic? I don't remember the back rooms being this linear before. Don't worry, it's usually not this claustrophobic further down the lane. Just keep going, Joe. What's going on in that room? And why is there suddenly an extreme amount of rumbling? Hey, wait a second. This kind of looks like one of those daycare rooms I used to drop my son at. Golly, the memories are starting to flow back to me. Back when Hunter was a cute little boy, me and my wife Jill would drop him off at the daycare because we had a conference almost every week. Admittedly, it was about a bunch of nonsense, but money really is everything. I'm sorry, did we just witness a Biden episode or something? Beats me, though I can't really say I'm too surprised. I swear Joe Biden's memory bank is like a switch. It just chooses when it comes back or not, and this is probably one of those days. Gosh, why does it have to be so unbelievably dark in certain areas like this right here? What's a horror game without dark rooms, especially if it's a game that's meant to be atmospheric? I don't care about atmosphere. I just want to get out of here as soon as possible. A red carpet? Where am I? Oh goodness, more memories are coming back to me. Back in my day, before we even had a lot of money, we used to move from house to house, but there was this one house we stayed at for about a few years that had a kitchen table like this. I can't remember if there was a giant window at the end of it, but our dinner area looked quite similar to this. Even this area that has the walls of a public bathroom and the other area with the looks of an unfinished museum? No, remember what I said earlier? I'm just trying to get out of here as soon as possible. That was just my hands getting to ahead of my mind. All right, whatever you say, Joe. What in the back rooms of madness is that thing at the end of that hall? I actually think that's just a statue, Joe. You're fine. Didn't Donald say there are monsters here? What if that monster is the statue and it's waiting for me to approach it so it can take a bite out of me? I'm not going near that thing. Come on, coward, do it. It's just a video game after all. Do it for the content, Sleepy Joe. No, 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 no. See, this is where you're taking advantage of the fact I'm afraid of horror games and their nature. I swear that thing is waiting for me to approach it. Yeah, I'm very positive that is just a plain, simple statue. All right, fine. I'll come closer to it. If I die, remember, this is all your fault. You say that as you walk right past it. I didn't say I would walk up on it. I said I would get closer to it. You know what this place kind of reminds me of? I remember watching this video of some more found footage style back rooms video, and there was this one where the individual in question was in a room quite similar to this place. One part of it, 
He shined a flashlight at a dark corner of the room and saw the largest and most aggressive moth I have ever seen. Excuse me, a giant freaking moth? I haven't watched that many Backrooms videos, but is there seriously a giant moth that attacks you? Is it in this game? Hold on, wait, do you guys hear that beeping noise? Oh yeah, I do actually, what is that? Suddenly I'm unsure if I want to check it out. God dang, that is actually so loud, I can barely hear you, Joe. Did you say something, Barry? That is one very steep drop. Did you say something, Donnie? The view from that window, though. What is it with all of these items just kind of existing in these back rooms? Legend has it that some of these items actually didn't originate from here, but from the world above it. Phasing through reality to enter this place doesn't just only apply to human beings alone. Wait, then why are these items so neatly propped up if they just entered in on their own? Remember that we're not the first people to have entered in the back rooms. Wait, are you serious about that? Joe, think about it. Why else would I know so much if we were the first ever to enter in? But why would we know anything about this place if no one has ever escaped? Actually, speaking of escaping, why are there elevators in the back rooms? Well, you see, Obama, the reason is because... And that's why there are elevators in the back rooms, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that's actually kind of interesting, Donald. All right, are you guys absolutely certain this isn't a fever dream I'm having? Why are we now located in some indoor swimming pool area with lots of sunlight? Again, this is one of many rooms that make up the back rooms. I get that, but at this point, this is starting to make no sense at all. This has to be some kind of fourth dimension I'm in or something. A room like this just shouldn't be here. Not to mention that the light coming from the windows almost gives me the impression that we're in some sort of void. There's literally nothing behind those windows except white. Is this somehow bringing back any particular memories of this place, Joe? Actually, no, not really. I've been to swimming pools before, obviously, but never ever found one that was indoors and was illuminated with this much light. The walls definitely feel very familiar, but not the fact of this being indoors. I myself don't remember having to navigate through a semi-dark hallway, barely lit up by the light ahead while having my knees in the water still. What is this area and what is that ominous noise in the distance? It might just be the ambiance, Joe. It's all right. Actually, now that you mention it, why are there set up chairs and couches in this darker area of the pool? Did people come down here with their couches and decided to crib out in this area? Beats me honestly. There's a chance many people have spent time here together or something. Seriously, this ambiance is really putting me on edge. I don't like it here at all. Okay, so it seems like I can't go that way for some reason. There's probably one other route we could try that we saw earlier. I guess we'll just try walking through this area and see where it leads us. Am I making assumptions or does that kind of look like a dead end? It kind of does, judging by the lack of light in there and with how close the walls are in that little area. Dang it. Guess we're going that one other way we passed by earlier. How long do you think people have lasted in these areas? If I'm being honest with you, I don't think they've lasted that long. It's well known that our body needs water and food, and without both of those, you can die as early as five days later. So not only do the people down here lack any sort of supplies to last on, but with how long and endless these areas can feel, you might actually go crazy and start doing some mad stuff. Wait, so how many more of these areas are there if people might just die before even experiencing everything? Probably not that long, to be honest. Wait a second, either I'm crazy or we were just here before. Wait, are you serious?
Yeah, I think he's serious, Obama. This might be square one. For real? We're basically circling around the entire area, dude. Is this what the back rooms does to you? I'm feeling crazy just from knowing I'm back here. Yeah, this might be the effects of being stuck in here. Great. Now we might be losing Joe to the horrors of the rooms out of reality itself. You're also telling me the elevator no longer works now? I guess we somehow have to find a new one. Great. This place sucks. I gotta get out of here somehow. Where on this godforsaken room is the path out of here? Maybe we need to look harder or something. There's no way this is where it ends. Dear God, I know we have a rocky relationship, but I need a way out of here. I don't want to die here all alone in the room outside of reality. Please, God, I beg, I'll do anything. I don't know why, but I feel that's not how this works, Joe. Actually, you'd be surprised how forgiving God is. Wait, have I seen this way before? Eureka, a way out, guys. God is great. I cannot believe this whole time you've happened to have never checked that side of the wall until now. It's fine. Now we can get out of here. Let me out. 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 Come on. Come on. Okay, Joe, it's not that serious, bro. Come on. Joe, it's okay. You're in the elevator. It's all right. You made it. Oh, my goodness. It works, guys. The elevator works. All right. Well, what now while we wait? Well, while we're on the topic, we could... And that's why we never saw the Mothman ever again. (laughs) (laughs) That actually was a good story, Biden. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm stuck in here. Fun's over, everyone. That's all right. We can carry out this conversation once we find the other elevator. Why must the claustrophobia return again? Is it so hard to ask to walk down corridors that aren't as thin as Donald's All thing? right, Joe Biden, do me a favor and stop right there. Do not carry out that joke. It's not funny. I don't know. For a second, I thought it was pretty funny. Barack, I don't think you're one to talk when it comes to someone else's private information that must not be mentioned to our family-inclusive audience, or else people will come for our throats. I don't know why, but I, for some reason, don't trust this elevator. It can't be that easy. What? Joe Biden, have you gone insane? What makes you not trust an elevator that was so easy to find? It's a couple red flags, Obama. First of all, it was very easy to find. Second of all, that radio static thing was giving me chills down my spine. And third of all, I didn't even get to talk about my resurfacing memory of booking a hotel once before with little Hunter Biden. Okay, wait, hold on. Have we been here before? Why does this kind of look like that one office building I was stuck in before? I'm hesitant to say it's exactly the same. I don't remember seeing whatever this thing is. On second thought, I want to get in that elevator. What was that noise just now? I don't know. Hurry up, Joe. That was actually a little tense, not gonna lie. Have we learned our lesson now, gentlemen? Always get in the elevator above all else. Whoa, Whoa, what was that? was that? Let's get to the corner. Everyone knows the corner is the safest spot in the elevator. Is that actually how this works? I'm a little bit too freaked out to think about that through and through. Okay, seriously, what's going on? Why are there just chairs blocking us from whatever hell is ahead? This is one of the few times where I need you to not ask me questions, Okay, gentlemen, let's calm down. Freaking out this much isn't going to help us. Oh, God, Joe. Joe Biden, was that you, sir? Sorry, my bad. Guess that whole situation got me gassy. Oh, great. Whatever that noise is, is still here. Wait, you're telling me it followed us here? Oh, that's just fantastic. We probably should think of a plan to evade whatever's after us. How are we going to do that if it looks like we're back into the office building? I don't know. At this point, I'd suggest you pick a direction and book it or something. We don't have many options here now, do we? Yeah, at this point, I agree with Obama. Just pick some direction. What in the world is this place? It kind of looks like a stadium or some sort of play, the type where you sit in those bleachers and watch whatever skit happens for the passing time. Do you think it'll notice us if we walk in here? Honestly, I think it will eventually. Which means it's probably best we skidaddle out of here. Okay, wait, what are the chances we're just getting closer to whatever that thing is? I can't be the only one thinking the noise is getting much louder by the second. Why is it that the 
very second you mentioned it, it stopped making that noise. I'm starting to think it knows we're approaching a destination that it wants us to go to. God, man, I hate this place. I'm so mad I even signed up for this at all. This was all fine and dandy until whatever that noise was started intruding. Is this really the same place we were at in the beginning? It kind of looks a bit different if you ask me. There's a chance we could have just been transported to another part of the office looking area. Oh my God. What is it, Joe? Did you guys not just see uh, branch looking arms that were poking out from behind that wall over there? Branch looking arms, what are you talking about? Wait, hold up, this could actually be bad. You might want to get out of there, Joe. Donald, I need to know what was that thing? That thing with branch looking arms is an entity that roams this area. If you think you saw his arms, that means he might be closer than we think. He might even be planning to sneak up on us. Oh, so you're telling me I should run? Yay, that's my favorite plan. Come on, elevator. Don't fail me now, please. I need you more than ever right now. Whew, we're good. How many more levels just are there, Donald? At this point, neither do I know. Judging from what happened earlier, we were dropped off at the office again. So for all I know, this elevator will just take us somewhere we've been before. Wait, am I hearing crickets? Oh no, I think I know where we are. Okay, there's just no way now. I think I get it now. I'm in that one place God forbids. I'm being punished for my sins, aren't I? That's the only logical explanation on what's going on. Earth to Joe Biden. Are you okay, sir? Give him a moment, Obama. I'm pretty sure his mind's having a stroke over seeing the night sky turn red like as if someone flipped a light switch. Like, how in the multiverse of madness does a back rooms, a place with so many indoor places, including a pool area, suddenly homes a friggin' neighborhood under the night sky? This is straight up an outside area trapped in whatever heck hole I'm in. Looking at the shadows, it definitely looks like there's a light source not too far from here. Meaning this place is somehow sealed in some indoor area with a illusionary sky. Not to mention not much of this neighborhood could actually be traversed in the first place. At least this place actually has a radio station with some relaxing music to listen to. Might put me to sleep if I stay here for too long. What kind of place is this where, for once, there's a functioning radio station that doesn't just give us static noises? That's a question I do not have answers to, unfortunately, guys. Kind of doesn't make any sense if you ask me. I just realized, Joe, it's been a bit since you've mentioned anything about your life stories or flowing memories and whatnot. I feel there's some sort of memory flowing, but because of the bright redness in the night, nothing's really resurfacing at all. These houses somewhat bring back memories, but the red is really blocking that flow. Oh God, it's that noise again. It's gotta be down there, everyone. Oh, that's fantastic. So now we're once again not alone. Donald, come on, is there an exit out of here? I'm sorry you have to give me a second. I'm having a decision crisis right now. I can't tell if I want Joe to run or walk to the noise. Why on God's green little planet do you want Joe to walk towards an entity you said could kill him. Actually, technically, I never said whatever entity it is or was would kill him. I only suggested to run because it was the entity from the office place which will kill you. Hey, it doesn't really matter what you say, Donald. I'm walking away. I really don't like the energy radiating out of the extremely dark zone. I want to say that's lame, but on the other hand, that's certainly the better decision to make. Probably best since I still don't remember all of the entities that are in the back rooms. What are the chances that's another elevator? I think it is, actually. I can see it from afar, and it looks like one. That's some great news. We can get out of here, everyone. Why is it actually really dark over here? I don't know, Joe. Just keep going. We're almost out of here. 
Why are there small pink looking houses in the elevator station? Beats me Obama. I'm only partly aware of this area, but I don't really know the lore of it quite too well, to be honest. Oh, the sweet, sweet, lovely feeling of being in the elevator. Nothing's as good as leaving a horrendous place after so much torment. We're not even done yet, Joe. Don't get that excited. Just let him have his moment, Donald. All right. Wherever we go next, hopefully won't be as weird as this one was. And then I said to her, you know, for someone talking this much smack, you realize you're at coughing distance, right? <laughs> Wait, what the? OK, I'm fed up with these back rooms. Now we're just straight up in the middle of nowhere with only a house in sight. Well, what in the actual frick is going on in here where now we're stranded in a snow area? Donald, this is supposed to be the part where you butt in and say something about your knowledge of this place. I'm going to be frank with you. I have no idea what this place is, gentlemen. Oh, that's just great. So now we're all just clueless cows wandering a foreign land. Seems so, unfortunately, but don't worry. All we have to do is find another elevator. Easy for you to say, Joe. Wait a second. I just realized something. This may or may not be important information. Well, share anyway, Mr. Trump. Every time we ride the elevator, our perception tells us that we're going down in the elevator, right? I'm not the only one who thinks this. Yeah, I assume so, too. What about it? Have any of you noticed how we were dropped off in here? From the looks of how the elevator was structured, it's now giving me the impression that we were going up instead of going down, meaning we were likely climbing up the back rooms. What's so significant about this information? This means if we find another elevator, unless the back rooms has its own properties of logic, we'll likely be descending back into where we may or may not have came from. Are you suggesting we may be trapped in some kind of loop forever and ever, unless something phenomenal happens midway through? That is unfortunately precisely what I'm talking about. Just our luck. So you really weren't kidding when you said there is no way out. Even though we suggested so, there was a part of me that was hoping I was wrong. Oh, wow. Even more so that we don't even have a proper restroom to use. This truly is the underworld. Who would have thought death by boredom would be so cruel? Never thought to see it. All right, God, I'm once again coming to you in the hopes you would hear my prayers and get us out of this heck hole. We don't want to die to the back rooms, God. If this seriously works somehow, I guess I would have no choice but to follow Christ. In the meantime, does anyone have anything to talk about? Well, I guess while we're at it, I could talk about what's going on between me and Michelle. Wow, I'm sorry to hear about that, Joe. It's fine, Donnie. Next time I find that seagull, I'm whipping out my shotgun. That bird brains hasn't seen the last. Oh my God! What's going on? We're falling fast, boy. Ah! What do you know? We made it out, guys. I cannot believe that actually worked out in the end. Okay, can we now break the role play act now? It's getting very hard to keep up with it. Hey, I might as well since we're done with the video pretty much. Despite my suffering, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a wild ride. We'd appreciate if you would give this video a like and subscribe. It helps us and Jared Gaming push more of these kinds of videos for you all. Just don't expect them at a frequent pace. All of us are busy one way or another, including Jared. As always to you all, take care. And, and God, God bless, bless you all. You all.